Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Cub and welcome back to our Five Head Island Let's Play Adventure Extravaganza of Awesomeness and Fun Times. Now, in the last episode, we built the farming station, which has done a really good job of collecting a ton of material for us, which is nice. We also automated moving bone mill over here, so anytime something dies in our monster slaughterhouse over there, its body is immediately sent into here, which is extracted into here, which is then ground up into here, which is then taken back over to there. The problem is, well, first off, problem number one, we're running out of space in here because we're also, like, running out of energy. And maybe we need to have some sort of a place in the middle between there and here to store all of the bone mill. That's probably a thing we should do. But for right now, what we need to focus on, and this is the big deal, is getting more energy. Because we're not running out of lava, we're running out of power. We're generating 40 RF per tick, and we are pulling all of that energy out and using it mostly on the farming station. The farming station will charge up and then use most of its energy in one big whap to cut down a tree. And that's, that's costing us a lot, especially since we added the bone mill, which makes trees grow faster. I asked not that long ago, I didn't even ask, I just kind of mentioned that I wasn't sure how in thermal expansion upgrades work now. And I got some different comments from some different people. But what it basically comes down to is two different things. We've got these upgrade kits, as well as these reinforced conversion kits, which just allows you to upgrade and, like, skip previous upgrades, which I guess is nice if you can combine all the upgrades. We also have these augments. Now, I'm familiar with augments. You can put an augment, like, if we had the... What is this? Increase maximum power usage, increase the chance of secondary product, uh, destroy excess secondary output... All of these different things. Eventually, we'll find one that works in the... I don't see it here. There's one, though, that will work inside of our dynamos to make them create more energy. The problem is there's nowhere to put it in the dynamo. If we right-click on the dynamo, there's no tab that we can open up to stick one of these upgrades in there. And again, I'm not sure which one. Maybe this one? Dynamos, increased output. That's the one. That's the, we want that right there. My theory is that if we use one of these hardened upgrade kits, it'll give us the ability to then add a augment, maybe. I've never done it before. I, I didn't even look it up. Well, I did. I looked up these upgrades, right? So I looked up tier one basic leadstone. It says items in this tier are the weakest and easiest to obtain. A good way to start off with the mod is to mine down blah, 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 blah. Tier two, hardened. This tier is a slight improvement over the first tier, usually obtained by adding some invar to the... It doesn't actually tell me what these upgrades do. It's just like... Yeah, they, they help. They make things better. And I'm like, well, that doesn't help me at all. So that's what we're dealing with right now. It's just a world of not knowing. But we're going to do our best here to figure it out. Envar and Redstone, I think we've got all of those things. We certainly do. So we can go ahead and build one of these hardened upgrade kits uh, once we actually get the gear that I, I've neglected to build. I do that wrong every time. Every single time. It's iron that goes in the middle, y'all. Y'all need to remember that. And also... We should build two of each of these because we have two of, of them. Um, so there we go. We've got two dynamos is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Do we just right click? We do. Okay. There we go. That one's been upgraded. Boom. That one's been upgraded. So they're both hardened now. And we can add a single augment. Okay. Our augment options are, what is this one? Increased efficiency. So more RF is produced by fuels. That's not really a problem. We're not hurting for lava. These are still, yeah, these are still completely full. So we've still got more lava than we could ever hope to use. I guess this is the one we're going to have to go for. This is the transmission coil. Increased output. Silver, silver, silver and gold. I found a peppermint mine. I do want to throw out that didn't he find that peppermint mine like in Santa's workshop or something ridiculous like that? Like he can't, you can't claim that. That's Santa Claus's. What are you doing Yosemite Sam or whatever your name was. I haven't watched that Christmas special. It's Rudolph, for those of you not in the know. I haven't watched it in a while. Okay, well that was fast. Look at that. We've got our two auxiliary transmission coils. And, oh, cool. You don't have to actually open it up and place it in there. I guess you could do that, but you can just right-click. And uh, it installs them. That brings our output to 120. Okay, great. Not enough, though, still. We're still consuming more than that, I guess. Oh, and of course we are, because these things have to fill back up. All these machines that were empty. That's going to be like priority number one, is making sure that they fill up. Can I adjust how much energy is coming out of one of these? Like, if over here, for example, we want this to extract energy, but can I adjust how much it extracts, besides just the 640? 
that it's going to. I can adjust the max output if I wanted to. So if I wanted to bring that down to like 300, or really just bring it all the way down to like 100, the energy cell, cell would start to fill back up. But of course that means we're now limiting the amount of energy that can go out to all the individual machines. So I don't want to do that. What I do want to do though, let's limit it at 500. Neither machine should be using more than that really. I mean the maximum output on here is 640 anyway. Maybe that maybe it's just useless to do that. I'll tell you what, let's temporarily slow it down to about 100. That'll give this a chance to start to fill back up. I'm good with that. So, can we upgrade this further? Can we add another one of these? I don't think you can. The the thing is I'm not, I think that in order to upgrade it further, we'd have to Ugh, I don't I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I, how many of these can you add? Oh, uh, more energy RF is produced by fuels. This is less energy RF is produced by fuels. So maybe we should build both of these to kind of even each other out. But can we add more than one of them? I don't know. I don't think you can. I guess we could go ahead and build another one, though, just to find out. Because we're not necessarily hurting for the ingredients necessary to build them. I mean, look at that. We just built another one, and that took, like, what, six seconds? Uh, so if we right-click on it, can we stack them? We cannot stack them. All right, well, what if we upgraded to the next tier? So we did hardened. What if we did it to, what is this one, reinforced? I think this is reinforced. That's just some, oh, we're gonna need some hardened glass, which we haven't built before. Silver gear, electron blend is easy. We probably even already have some because I do remember making some in the past. And if we don't, it's not a big deal. It's just gold, we'll get gold and it's silver. So we'll get nine gold and we will get, where's the silver? I know I've got silver. I wonder if I can do it with the two of them in block form. That would be nice. Let's check. Uh, we'll set it to... Okay, no, you can't put the blocks in there, unfortunately. That's fine. We'll convert them down to ingots and then throw them both in there. Okay, there's our electrum ingots. And then we're also going to need hardened glass, which... Can we only do this in an induction smelter, really? Is there an alternative option here? Can we use something besides hardened glass? Can we use quite clear glass? Because we can make quite clear glass pretty easily. Oh, well, we got fused quartz. All right, that one will work. Fused nether, do we have, well, hold on. Hold on, having said that, do we have nether quartz? We've got 11 nether quartz. How do you get it? What's the recipe for this? It's probably going to be, okay. Um, right, oh, nether quartz ore. Oh, of course, nether quartz ore, which we can just throw into the alloy smelter if we want to get a single one, or into the sag mill to get two. The problem is then if that goes into the alloy smelter, It'll start making quite clear glass by itself. Although that's exactly what we want, so maybe that's not that big of a deal. Uh, just go ahead and make me some quite clear glass if you don't mind. I only need two pieces. Well, actually, if we're going to upgrade both of these, I'll need more than that. Alright, I guess there's no damage in them accidentally going in the alloy smelter. If what we're trying to make with them is... Bone mill. Why is there so much bone mill in here? I think we made a mistake trying to make nothing but bone mill earlier. No wonder none of the ores are getting processed. There's nothing but bone mill in here. We're gonna have to add something over there to store all of this extra bone mill. This is getting ridiculous. This is out of hand. I even thought about it last episode, but I just didn't act on that thought, and that was my mistake. We'll worry about it in a second. For right now, we need to focus on getting our energy output back up, which means building this thing, which means what are we up to at this point? Have we built the gear? I think we, I think we need to build a gear next. Two gears, actually, and then surround all that with these other ingredients. There we go. We've got our two reinforced upgrades. And a boom. And a boom. So the question here is, can we add a second one of these? We can! That brings our output to 240 RF, which means just one of these now is producing enough energy for us to do... I mean, not quite enough energy to do that, but the two of them together should be outputting enough energy. Okay, that's still going up. That's good. Let's build another upgrade. Ladies and gentlemen, I assure you, I am not a madman. I just like power. Power! All the power! Okay. Okay, so we can output, output 450 RF from the energy cell while still filling the energy cell back up. Because that's the goal, is to eventually get this filled back up in case something terrible happens. Lava? We're still... Ooh, we've actually taken a hit on lava. We no longer have completely full drums. Mostly full, though. It doesn't seem to be a problem still. Uh, yeah, because these are still full as well. So, lava production is still not an issue. So, we've done hard. We've done reinforced. The next upgrade is Signalum. 
which is an incremental upgrade. It's going to require Electrum Gear, nothing weird. This ingot I've never heard of before, which is going to be three copper, a silver, and ten redstone. So that's no joke right there, I'll tell you that. And then this stuff, which is cryothium, which is like, I guess it's like py a pyrothium, but it's like cold. It's made, it's made with blizz powder and a snowball, some nitre, redstone. Look, I don't know what these things are. I've never made them before. A blizz rod? Where do you get a blizz rod from? Go back. Can we not go back? Go back. I don't even know how to do this. I think we've reached the end of our upgrade ability. Snowballs are pretty easy. You just, well, apparently not. Blizz rod? Where do you get a blizz rod from? Uh, blizz essence from a blizz seed, which is blizz chunks, which is, this is still not making any sense to me at all. We don't have blizz rods. If, I, if we had blizz rods, I would have seen blizz rods. If you know how to get a blizz rod, comment down below and let me know because, oh boy, I sure don't know how. But I digress. Look, we've gotten off subject. The main topic right now should be dealing with all of this bone mill we've got now that we've got power more or less taken care of. I mean, we could definitely go further with it, but I think for right now, we're doing fine. I'm going to pull the items up right into here instead. I guess I'm going to have to dive down here and set this up to insert again. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. That's going to start filling up with bone mill. And then we can patch the floor. And then we'll just simply tell the machine to pull items in. So it should still pull bone mill. So it just used one up and it filled back up because it's pulling them from the storage crate now. And wait a minute. Let's get rid of this. I don't need to be carrying this around with me everywhere. Cool. That'll keep the bone mill stored. Meanwhile, over here, we should start seeing this start to empty out. Very slowly, but yes, it is emptying out. While also filling up. But it looks like it's on its last bit. So that's good. And it might actually start pulling some other things out here soon. Let's go ahead and we'll give it a bit of a speed boost. We'll take some of these over there manually for it. Alright, we did it! Look at that, it's all cleared out of bones. No bones in here left either. Great. I mean, there's a lot of junk in here that we'll have to deal with eventually. We need to automate making rotten flesh into dirt. I think that that should definitely be a thing we look at in a future episode. In fact, now nah, let's just go ahead and do it now. We've got time. The thing is, I want to have a lot of things done before episode 19, which is I've decided just now, right now, that's when we're going to go ahead and do the let's build. And in order for us to do that, hold on, do I have paper still? I might still have paper somewhere. Let's check. I know that I accidentally built a hopper earlier. I want to have the let's build, everything for the let's build ready, which is going to require a lot of dirt. It's going to require a lot of different kinds of blocks. So I want to just kind of go ahead and get those things out of the way. Like even if they're not done as best as they could be done, as long as they're up and built, we'll worry about prettying it up during the massive overhaul let's build. Say, so here's a question. You know, while these things aren't busy, could you, like, do... What do you make when you do the... Oh, you make gravel. Well, that's great. That means I don't have to do it manual anymore. What happened to the gravel? Where did it go? Keep keep giving it to me, baby. Oh, and occasionally it gives you sand. Well, that's wonderful. All right, conduit binder. Plus what's left of our enderium nuggets. Will give us 20 more item conduits, which... It's still not a lot, but this is enough for what we're going to do here today. This is going to be real basic. This is going to be super simple. We don't really have enough of these to stretch it out too far, so we'll just go ahead and do it, like, right here. Again, it's not pretty, but it doesn't need to be, because all of this is temporary. The let's build will change everything. So we'll put down the item conduits. Make sure that this does not happen. Go along the top of the barrels like this, and we're going to have to make sure that each of them is set to insert. So we'll right click and we'll set insert. There we go. And then we want to set this one to extract, but we want to make sure that it's set to extract something specific. So we'll put in our filter, right click, we'll grab the rotten flesh, teach it to the system and then set it to always active. So should start filling these up with rotten flesh, which is going to start the process of composting our dirt. Now it's just a matter of extracting it. And I'll tell you what, we've got item conduits left over. What we're going to do, though, 
is we're not gonna... Ooh, can we pull them out the top? I bet you we can. Let's go ahead and get something else to store them in. You know what's nice is never running out of wood. Just coming over here and just grabbing more. That's lovely. I like that. Look at that. You just come over here and you can make all the chests like it's no big deal. Thanks, Flabbit. Every time. Every, every time I do it, I'm like, okay, this is what I did wrong last time. So this is correct? And the answer is always no. No, it's not. All right. This is where we're going to store the product that is created. And we'll store it right here. So there we go. And we're going to set this one to... Uh, how do we do this? Right. we got to be careful about how we approach this process. So insert. We want you to do in and out. Insert on green. Extract on brown. And then we want to set this one to only insert, but on insert on brown. So it accidentally got a few rotten flesh just then. We'll move that back over. But it's now set to insert on brown. You're set to extract on brown. And we need to set it to always active. Perfect. So that's going to work. So we need to set these two again in and out. It's going to again set green channel. This one is set to extract on green channel. And then we want it to extract on brown channel. So the contents will be extracted into here. Because this one is set up to insert from brown channel. Which, if you've never used this mod before, might be confusing. Always active, though. So that way, they'll fill up and they'll extract. Perfect. And we won't have any crossover. We won't end up with any rotten flesh over here. Perfect. Alright, everyone. There we go. So that's good for the rotten flesh. And in fact, if I have any other rotten flesh, because there's not much else you can do with it. You can cook it up to make, I guess, leather if you want to. I'm sure is a thing you can do with it. Check uses. Yeah, you can smelt it to get leather. You can blast it with an atomic reconstructor to also get leather. Pretty, It's pretty much all leather. That's what this all comes down to, really. So we're pretty much maintaining full energy over here now, which is good. The machines, I'm hoping, are also maintaining some level of energy. Yep, they're all full. And you, oh, you're completely full. So we can go ahead and increase the output to, let's just say 500. We'll leave it at that. These are starting to fill up now. So I guess the, the dark days are over. Maybe we can just completely max this thing out and we'll be good. Hopefully. Lava is still not an issue. Though I think if it does become one, yeah, it's still mo... It is emptying out. Well, it holds 256 buckets. And right now it's at 200 and... Oh, no. It's at 256 now. Never mind. What about this one? Same thing. All right. I don't know if you can see that. But in the bottom left, in very faint writing, you can see 256 of 256. So... No worries. We're, we're not using up for the lava still. No need to upgrade there. The last thing we could do is we could create a system to extract these extra saplings over to here and use them in the buckets as well. But I don't think that this is going fast enough for us to worry about that. Like, it's definitely using up the rotten flesh, but not so quickly that it's a big problem. So, we won't worry about that for now. Anyway, I guess that does it for right now. I think we've made really good progress. We're no longer worried about power. We're producing more than enough. Definitely still not worried about lava. And we've got this automated dirt production. That's great. That's one step closer. So we've got one more episode before we do the big let's build. And I can't wait to see you guys there. I don't know if we've talked about it, but as you can tell, I got the faithful texture pack working. I think I had it up in the last video as well. Uh, there should be links to it in the description if you're interested. And you can install it right inside of the Twitch launcher where you install Five Head Island. I would recommend doing it that way rather than trying to download it and add it yourself. It's just a lot quicker and easier. But uh, until next time, just, just want to say thank you folks for watching. You're all great. God bless every single one of you. And uh, if you want to click like, don't bother. From what I understand, it doesn't even matter because YouTube doesn't really take that into consideration anymore. They have this real... You should go watch. It's a great video by Film Theory. Uh, you should all go watch it. Okay, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!